There's been some really cool action figures based on movies. But, let's be honest, there's some really bad ones also. So let's look at the 10 worst action figure lines based on a movie. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with, yes, another video about toys. Today, we're going to look at the 10 worst action figure lines based on a movie. Now, the movie might be good. In some cases, the movie might not even be good. But the action figures won't be good either. But before we get started, I'm going to have to tell you that Larry, as you know, if you're new to the channel, Larry J. Wampa, he usually writes the jokes in these videos, but... He heard about a writer strike and he's out front of the junk room protesting. If you got money for toys, you got money to pay us more. We demand more. More, more, more. So I'm going to have to write the jokes for each of these. So hopefully you'll find it just as funny as when Larry writes them. So let's look at the worst action figure lines based on movies. And let's start with number 10. And it's one, the figure line to me doesn't look that bad. It's Superman Returns. That's right. Remember when Superman came back and it wasn't Henry Cavill, Cavill, Henry Cavill, and it wasn't the other guy. It wasn't Christopher Reeve. It was some other guy we'd never seen before. We never saw him before or after. We don't know who it is. But Superman Returns. Now, what's so bad about this line is they did 10 figures in the basic line. 10 figures. Seven of them was Superman. Yeah, seven of them was Superman. All look like the same figure. Came with a different accessory or something. Now, they don't look bad, but being that they did just flood the line with just Superman, or mostly just Superman, <sighs> didn't even get a Lois Lane. Didn't even get a Lois Lane. Where was Jimmy Olsen? I don't know. Again, they don't look that bad. Not as bad as we'll see on the rest of this list. They just wasted wasted an opportunity doing so many. So, why, why so many Superman figures? Superman Returns. He returns these awful action figures. Sorry, that one. Hold on just a second. Okay, I've decided to let AI do the jokes. That's right. I'm going to have AI do the jokes. So, let's try to make another Superman joke. Superman Return action figures. Faster than a speeding bullet. Straight into the discount bin. Now, let's look at number nine. And, believe it or not, it's Indiana Jones. Yes, I put Indiana Jones on the list. And these are the Disney Park exclusives that were released around 2001. A lot of people don't even remember these. They, it was great having Indiana Jones back. You couldn't get them unless you were down at the Disney theme park or something. But it was great to have. But it just didn't look. They just they wasn't real. They didn't look like Harrison Ford at all. Take a look. As you can see here, they're not very good looking figures. Not when you think Indiana Jones. They could have done a lot better. Even the LGN Temple of Doom figures look better than these. That's supposed to look like Harrison Ford? Huh. Looks more like your dad's Jewish lawyer. Hmm, let's go to number nine. Oh, eight. And this is based on a really funny movie starring Ben Stiller. Mystery Man. Remember that? Hell, had a great cast too. Pee Wee Herman was in this thing. Pee Wee freaking Herman was in this thing. A lot of great people was in this movie. God, the action figure line. Now, I know this is probably aimed more for collectors and kids at the time, but still, that's no excuse. In fact, if it's aimed for collectors, it should have looked better than this. Check these out. Oh, God, they looked awful. And let's look at the one based on the Ben Stiller character. Oh, I would, would you even know who this was based on if I didn't tell you? Would you even know if you've never seen this line before? These are God awful. At least the William H. Macy one looks a little okay. It looks a little bit more like William H. Macy. But overall, ugh. Look, like he took a bunch of action figures, stuck them together with duct tape, and called it a day. Let's go on to number seven. And this one based on Roger Rabbit. Yeah, who framed Roger Rabbit? Well, let's look at these. And I'm not talking about the Bendy's figure. They did a lot of Bendy's figures. We're talking about actually action figures here. <sighs> they went cheap. They went cheap. I think these are LGN. They just went cheap with these. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I mean, look at them. They could have done so much better. This line has so much potential. And that's one thing that gets you on the list here is how much potential we could have had with a Who Framed Roger Rabbit line. Imagine if they did play sets of Toontown and everything. They could have made this a really great line. Looks like they could buy a rabbit, a human, and a balloon animal to make the Roger Rabbit figure. Whew, these are awful. Writers can't be replaced. AI jokes are not jokes. AI jokes are just jokes. AI jokes are just jokes. A now let's look at Rocky 3. You heard me right. The third Rocky movie. Rocky 3. The one with Thunderlips and Mr. T. As you can see here, they're very generic looking. And look at the Stallone Rocky figure. Does it even look like Stallone? At least Holt Hogan, Mr. T, Apollo Creed. At least they look like the figure they're supposed to look like. But look at Rocky. Whew. These are pretty bad. 
They look like they were designed by a committee of He-Man wannabes who got kicked out of Toy Design College. <sighs> Let's start the top five. And we're going to do that looking at figures based on Men in Black. The first movie, don't tell me they're based on the cartoon because they're not. We're going to look at figures based on Men in Black. And oh lord, I hate figures that are always stuck in a pose. Whenever you play with these figures, I guess the wind's always blowing. These look awful. These action figures look like they were actually designed by aliens themselves that never saw the Men in Black movie and didn't know who the actors were and they just made them what they thought humans looked like. Ugh, let's look at number four. And they're based on a movie called Dragonheart. Anybody remember Dragonheart? Ooh, what a good movie. Sean Connery did the voice of a dragon. That's all you need to know now. Now, before we get started, I want to tell you, yeah, the dragons look good in this line. The dragons are epic. The, the dragons are what you want in this line. Now, not making fun of the dragons, but take a look at these figures. Oh, God. They're so small, I guess, so they're being scaled with the dragons, but still not really scaled with the dragon. But they just look awful. Again, I, just, I don't know why they had to make these so awful looking. The dragons look realistic and great. As for the figures of the humans, they look like something that belongs in a nightmare. Night. Get it? Nightmare. Wampas deserve equal rights. Wampas deserve equal rights. When do we want them now? When do we want them now? When do we want them right now? Okay, let's start the top three of the worst action figure lines based on movies. Number three. Ready for this one? Hook. Based on a Steven Spielberg classic. I'm a movie that I didn't think was really good anyway. It had Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, Bob Hoskins. Hey, you're on our list twice. Let's take a look at these figures. This is Robin Hood as played by Robin Williams. Does this look anything like Robin Williams to you? They look god awful. It was like they made these figures years before they even started making the movie. Like they didn't know who was going to be in the movie and they just made figures. I just hate to look at these. They scream cheap. And that's one thing you don't want your toys to do is scream cheap. Why did the hook action figures not sell well? Because they didn't have a hook to reel in the customers. I need Larry. I need Larry. Number two. Can I even call these action figures? Well, no, sold as action figures. They were in the action figure section of the store, so I'm going to list them as action figures. Willow. Looks like something you find in a damn bubblegum machine. Look at them. Oh, they're just little die-cast figures. But I don't understand why they did this. Why would they, why would they, I can understand if they made action figures and then made these on the side, but why would you do Willow? Why would you buy the license to Willow and just make these? We could have had another Warwick Davis figure. We could have had the first Val Kimmer figure before he became a Batman figure. Why? Why do they make these? It would have been more fun for a kid to get a potato, stick a plastic head on it, and go play with it in his room. <sighs> now that brings us to the worst action figure on the list. But before we look at number one, let me remind you, we got some new shirts over at JunkmanMerch.com. Check them out. We got this one, that one, and more. JunkmanMerch.com. You can even get this Blake 7 shirt. So you can look like one of the cool kids in your neighborhood. Don't you want to look cool? Well, you can with Junkman Merchandise over at JunkmanMerch.com. Now, let's look at the number one worst figure ever, and it's based on a Tom Cruise movie. So don't tell me Tom Cruise has never had an action figure line. Well, I guess they didn't have his likeness because these don't look like anything from the... These, uh, talk about looking cheap. These are the cheapest looking... Oh, they look like they break time you take them out of the box. Let's look at Mission Impossible action figures. That's right, action figures based on Mission Impossible. They did come with a little mask here. I like that. But good lord, these look like action figures you were finding at the dollar store. Hell, they don't even look like the dollar store would sell these. If there's a 25 cent store, this is where these should be sold. These look god awful. They look like they were made with a toddler that had a glue gun and some extra Play-Doh in his hands. I don't even know what that joke means, but that's what AI says. <sighs> we got to get Larry back in here. Maybe it's time for me to meet some of those demands. I don't know, but that's 10 of the worst action figure lines based on movies. Let me know some more worst action figures. And don't be that hat guy that says The Last Jedi or the sequel Star Wars toys or something. Don't, don't, don't be that guy. No, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. There's always one of you in the comments. Don't be that guy. Just please don't be that guy. Well, I'm going to get out of here. And go look at some more really bad figures. Ugh. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.